Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're gonna be playing on the Ugly Tongue map. To be honest, this doesn't even look like a tongue at all. It m looks more like a very s um, sus, sus thing. Well, let's get on with the battle. We're gonna scout uh, this nice um, island thing, uh, peninsula. I forgot what you call it, uh, but it looks extremely incredibly sus. Let me zoom out, see, look at that sus thing. It, it, Let me zoom back. Anyways, this is a domination battle. And we're going to do some good scouting. We've already captured a container in their own area. The area closer to their base. So we're doing a pretty good job, I'd say. There's another container somewhere here. Uh, there it is. Nice. Let's get that. And we scout blue, and we can see blue is still building their shipyard. Perfect for us. Uh, let's go lay mine or something. Kaiman goes zooming. Come on. Mine laid. Perfect. There's a hammer here trying to destroy my Kaiman. Uh, too bad for you, my Kaiman's just going to retreat. The hammer is almost destroyed. My Kaiman could take it on. And that Delta was one shot by my mines. So that's good. Another mine. And another one shot, perfect. Now, I think a delta is, um, is it 150 resources or 140? I can't tell. But a naval mine is 30. So, that's 120 resources the enemy wasted. Or 110 resources if the delta is 140, I can't really tell. But if it's somewhere from 140 to 150. So the enemy wasted either 110 or 120 resources times two because there's two deltas so that's equivalent to like one power plant and would you look at that this rifleman is able to shoot that torpedo platform and mm, interesting they didn't fix this um, graphic bug this platform should have been raised a little bit uh, I, it's, I, I guess this graphic bug has been on this map for some time. Oh well. There's a Delta here, it's going to destroy our Kaiman. But we're going to send in some uh, Rifleman reinforcements to back up that one Rifleman. And Gold Infantry attack. And nice, let's just see this Delta get destroyed. And then of course we're going to send these Rifleman to attack that torpedo platform. This view looks bad because of that bug, so we'll rotate the view a little bit. What I really like about this is that these guys aren't even in a forest, yet they're hidden. I I, <laughs> I have no idea. Like, like you, you, you can easily see this rifleman is in a forest. So he's hidden, and then you guys can see that these three guys aren't in the forest, so they're not hidden. Um, but those two guys are hidden in plain sight. <laughs> it's just that good old saying. And I've actually stopped it at a perfect moment. We can see this rifleman chucking a grenade. They can throw grenades pretty far, actually. That's a pretty far throw. And they throw with their left hand too, so riflemen are left-handed. Here's an interesting fun fact for you guys. 14% um, of the world's population is left-handed. Which means, since all riflemen throw with their left hands, it means resistance only has 14% of the world's population if you think about it. Which means that we're already in the um, minority. 14% versus 86%. 86 is actually my favorite anime. You guys should watch it. 
Well, anyways, back into the battle. We're being more annoying by sending a Kaiman to the back of their base and hitting their power plant. This is just how to be annoying 101. And then the hammer, of course, is coming. A Kaiman can't destroy a hammer unless the hammer is like stock or something. At this point, I'm just going to maximize my effectiveness by spamming aviation units because I do think it's pretty funny to spam aviation units. Leviathan is out. The enemy captured this flag using a hammer. Uh, but I'm going to nuke that platform. And while the nuke hits, I'm going to attack with my dragonflies and wipe blue off the face of this map. And while this is happening, Blue is sending their army to attack me. Which is a very bad idea, do not do this. Whatever Blue is doing, do not do this. Because Confederation troops are very slow. And I'm using Dragonflies, which are air troops. They have over 100 speed, I think 120. Compared to the slow 40 something of a Zeus tank. Dragonflies are 3 times faster. Do not base trade as a confederation player, because you will just not win. Base trading is generally a tactic resistance players use to win against a confederation player in the late game. Blue should honestly, instead of sending those units for the attack, Blue should have just focused on defense. Or, because this is a domination match, in order to win, you have to either destroy your enemy and all of their troops, or of course win by the domination counter. So, blue could have been pesky and started hiding their troops around the map. And then stalled for time. Because that's the only way blue could have won. If they don't defend. Base trades are not good as confederation players. Look at the amount of damage they've done to my base. Be I mean, the blue hasn't even reached my HQ yet. But meanwhile, I've destroyed their HQ ages ago. I also just have way more troops. So... Yeah, blue's base is almost destroyed. And once these troops are also destroyed, we've won, pretty much. Our HQ is definitely going to be destroyed, but we're going to win. So, is it a sacrifice? Yes. And also, there's a container here. I have no idea how I did not get this container. I have no idea how Blue didn't even get this container. It's been 12 minutes. It's been sitting here. No idea. I mean, when Blue went to get this contain, I mean, this flag, it did not occur to scout the whole map. I am speaking out of hypo uh, hypocrisy because I didn't even get the container, but to be fair, it is closer to blue, so. Well, once this Zeus tank is destroyed, we've won the game because it's the last unit. And with that, it's a victory.